Uh, okay, in this uh, video, I want to talk about MySQL binary logs. So, binary logs in MySQL contains events that describe database changes, such as table creation operations or changes to the table data. It also contains events for statements that potentially could have made changes. For example, a delete which matched with which matched no rows. Um, and the, the it has two main purposes. The first one for replication. So if you have a master slave architecture in your database, this could help you sync up the data, I believe. And the second thing is uh, for backups, since the logs itself contains information about uh, not not information contains the previous data itself. So you can write when you capture it, store it in somewhere as a backup. Uh, and, and I, I believe in my use case where how I discovered this and uh, and this package one second this package called MySQL events so we have we, we are, in my previous job I was trying uh, I was trying to update the UI uh, in real time but uh, I was basically working as a business intelligence uh, company we were using a tool which does not provide real time capabilities so the idea we went to like give it uh, we went a hacky way just to notify the front end application that there is this chart or this table is not 100% uh, correct now you need just to update it so go fetch the data again and re-render the whole page or something like this so this is the this is what we wanted uh, but the, the the tool the business intelligence tool does not provide that so this is the hack that uh, I came up with is to use this package to capture the binary logs in real time and then notify the client with WebSocket IO. That's it. Uh, so I, the main idea of behind this video is just to show you this binary log and just to show you this package and how we can just uh, start with it. Um, I, I'm not an expert on this subject, by the way. I'm just, I'm just I just saw saw this thing. I think it's very interesting to uh, to to show other people. So. So I was trying, to, I was trying to record it a couple of times. So basically, what I made, uh, I'll delete this. I won't, I won't type everything. It's in the docs, in the documentation. So I, inst you need to to make this work. You need to install uh, this package, in this, in this link. I will put the link in the description. So uh, in this link, you need to install this package, and you need to install MySQL since you will be, since I will be connecting to MySQL. And the other other thing, uh, so I will test it in a, tab, in a database called test. I have uh, inside of it, inside of it a table called test table, and I have only this table, uh, this record inside this table. So select start from test table. Only this record. So I can just from the documentation. Uh, one second. I can just grab this code and just show it to you. Think that's it. Um, so yeah, this is the same my credentials, localhost. This here is here where you define the connection for MySQL, and I believe I had to remove this one as well. To be honest, I didn't understand the whole uh, the whole um, what what is it? the whole options. Yeah, the whole options for the this constructor function. Uh, I think. Because the documentation is forked from here, and which is also forked from another repository, so you might want, if you want to customize it, you might want to go and read the docs here. I believe. So, I will put link in the description, and you might, uh, if you faced an issue that you might need to customize the original behavior, I think you can just uh, go try to find it. So. Okay, so they start. This is the instance of my SQL events, I can believe. Watcher, yeah, and this is how we started. So the, you put like a triggers, like a watchers for the on the binary logs, and here uh, you each name should be unique, and the expression is th the expression is the it's like I want to watch a specific thing. So the first thing I so I can put this since I have a database called test. I will put the expression test. So dot star, which means I want to capture everything from the test database. 
uh, you can specify a specific uh, table. So I want only to watch the binary logs for a specific table in the test database. You can do that. But here I will just watch the test database. And I will I'll name, the, name this uh, monitoring. And this is the statement. So mysql.statements. I believe there is an autocomplete. No, but uh, all means that you watch all the CRUD operations. But you can uh, put it like, uh, I believe I, I tried it with that time. So mysql statements dot statements uh, dot insert. You can, by the way, just let me show you all the possible statements. Uh, okay, so if you look, this is how you can find all the possible statements. So you just mysql dot statements and log it. So node. Let me run it. So you, you have you can watch all th all the CRUD operations or the insert or update or delete. So this is how you can find out uh, what the options are. Oh wait, or you can just go into the package and read the code. So okay, I will only watch I will watch everything and only for the test database I will log everything that will happen. Okay, so let's try it. So reset. Okay, well, waiting for database events. Uh, selecting is not, won't trigger anything. So, but I insert. So, I hope, I hope you can see this. So, I will insert into test table inside the test database uh, these two values. So, and as you can see, uh, let me just select to show you. We have two rows now. And uh, the event of type insert the schema is test test table the table is test table affected rows they will give you the after and before which is very helpful for backups and affected columns and uh, yeah uh, let me I think I can delete it from here let me set another one and delete it okay another event let me clear everything uh, okay, I had to re-record this part. So I, after I copied the pasted the code, so let's try to test it a little bit. So this is an insert event. So let's try uh, an up, an update. So okay, I just set the safe update uh, mode to zero, so it won't complain. My SQL won't complain. Um, so I will update the edge where edge is one, and this is by the way my data right now. So it's all. The name is what the edge is to all of them, the eight of them, and the last one is the edge was one. So I'll update the edge to 31. And we have the event. So the type is update, schema is test. This is the after and before objects, which contains the after and before. Uh, this is why it's useful for uh, backups. Maybe for creating historical data for each record. I think this is uh, really good. Yeah. So this, so this is for update. Even if I just updated a bunch of records, so I updated seven rows, the seven affected rows, and I will see. So in this, the third event, the type is it update, and there is there is the seven records. And just try to delete everything. Okay. So after for all the seven records undefined, the eight records. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, so maybe you can install uh, npm, uh, install socket IO, and notify the client uh, when anything happen. Or maybe, maybe you can use maybe RabbitMQ or uh, Redis pub sub to notify another application. Um, my, in my case, I had to update the UI in real time. But I, but I was using a tool that does not provide this capability, so I made this. Uh, I made it like this. Okay, thank you. I hope I hope this was uh, useful. Anyway.